All right, so this is the wolf of cryptocurrency coming live from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I am representing the 801 because I don't know if there's a lot of people out here that are even doing this. I had somebody talk to me today, and they didn't know anything. They got a hold of me through LinkedIn uh, and, you know, said that they got, you know, were trying to put together a uh, crowd whatever crowd sell or crowdfund sell uh because crypto is a place to do it and the guy from france that's financing the thing uh had a good idea but they don't know what they're doing and so i was just like you know my time's worth money but this is part two so what did we do today we went ahead and we got something a christmas gift that never really happens and it was these three so i was only invested at the beginning of the day i was only invested in neos and i wanted to see how much money i could make i think I, we only had 800 dollars. and um you know uh, after charting these i was like oh they're in good enough positions and then i couldn't watch it i had to leave so I let them sit, but I knew that they would be good. So the numbers look great. 70%, 54%, 33%, 116%, uh, which Civic is a winner. Now, what do you do though? You know, um, this one I took a loss, Quantum. I think I can show it to you. I don't even think I needed to click on that. I think I had them pre... Uh, that's Osmigo, that's Civic... That's Monero. Let's see here. Quantum. And let's go ahead and do the thing again. What I said was, we're going to see what we're going to do with these. Are we going to ride them overnight? We're going to freaking storm back into Neos because Neos is uh, steadily going up. Um, or Neo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. People won't know what you're talking about, though. So, I'm literally on this teeny computer. It's so funny. So, we're going to set up these uh, moving averages and see where it's kind of headed now. A flat line? Um, I don't really like that. But, I've already done the math uh, ahead of time. And, it's only been four hours. So... You know, I think we bought right here, um, and I can look down and see if we got it time stamped. I'm missing one though. Uh, we got the most crucial one actually, uh, which is the 21 candle moving. I do it on a 30 minute because when you do the math, okay. You know, I really don't need to put this in here. I will because when you oh my gosh all right it doesn't matter we don't need this one in here but like i said i want my charts set up perfectly when you start charting you get ocd about it you want everything to look perfect so that you have a clear understanding of what you're looking at and these, you know, uh, it's good that they have charts, um, but, you know, you can't make great decisions off of these. They don't let you change the exact minutes. Like I said, this is the closest that you're going to get to being the most accurate for making the most accurate decisions. This is a 30-minute ticker with... So, obviously... You know, if we would have started the beginning of the night of the day, it would have been awesome. What a spread. Let's get the Fibonacci out. Oh, whoops. No, I didn't want to do that. I guess it's on here. I always get confused because every chart has stuff other places and all right so if i can find it the basically i'm trying to see you know how much of a raise uh, we had in percentage i can do it 
but there's an easier way to do it if I can get this to move. I mean, what what's holding this up from being... I don't... Fractal? No. Let's see here. It is the easiest. It's like, where is it? Because it's so... It's used so much. Berlin Brands. A, B, C, D, E. No, I don't. I don't know why it's not showing me it. Actually, it's kind of weird. But the question is. Should I hold this overnight, or is it going to go ahead and take a downturn? I mean, let's just do the math ourselves, and we'll see how much money today, or, you know, I guess we could do a fiscal day. <laughs> And do it right about here, I think. So we're looking at four, two, five. So huge gain right there. Gosh, I just wish I had the freaking select a tool. There we go. All right, so right about here, now just think, if you would have done it on the 9th, and, you know, if we would have had this chart out, but I wouldn't have done it on the 9th, I would have done it right here. So if we would have done it right there, well, let's see, why is it not using the... Come on. It's not letting me do the thing. The Fibonacci. It's not letting me do it. It's not letting me show the percentage that you actually make. Which is stupid and which is a waste of time. So we're not going to do that. But do we want to sell? Do we want to sell? Let's go ahead and spread this thing out. And let's see where we are. Now you can see it curving already. Gosh dang. But people are still pumping money into this. Oh my gosh. I wish I, <laughs> I really wish I had a touch screen right now. Damn Max. I don't know what is going on right here. Uh, the Fibonacci's ruining it. It's killing me too. All right. So, do we want to sell right now? When we bought at, you know, we only have four. Uh, so, what happened? I was actually glad. So, we bought at forty-five, and. 44 and luckily I was like oh crap I didn't it was it was going slow so I realized that I screwed up so I almost sold all of it except for five so that's not even a big stake it's actually nice to have a little bit of money on there um, but I don't have that much money worth the money's worth so um, now that it is at five um, I've made a little bit of money and I think I'll sell and I'll put it into it. 